Hey everyone, um, so I haven't made a video in a while, I apologize. Um, I have no really excuse. Well, actually we're moving on May 1st, so we've been packing and stuff, and my husband's been home a lot, so I don't really film when he's home. Um, I had a list of things that I've been writing down, but I've misplaced that list. As soon as I went to film, I couldn't find the list. So... I guess we'll just talk about whatever I want to talk about. So, today, my dog is being crazy. Why are you being crazy? Why are you being crazy? Today, I'm 28 weeks and th 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 three days. And I'm um, feeling very large. I went for a midwife's appointment on Friday when I was 28 weeks. And I did the glucose tolerance test. And... Um, it wasn't that bad. Like, the day before, I ate no sweets, and I actually tried to eat not a lot of carbs either. I had a bowl of Special K in the morning, and then later on in the day, I had some, um, like a chicken breast, and some green beans with almonds, and then I think I had something else, but it was like, like, protein-ish. And then the next morning, I had turkey bacon and hard-boiled egg before the test, and then I drank the drink and it was chilled. They wouldn't put it on ice or anything. And it tasted just like orange soda, like that didn't have bubbles in it. It wasn't, it really wasn't that bad. Um, maybe the three hour test is terrible, but I didn't really think it was that bad. Anyway, my results came back at 101. And um, my provider didn't tell me if that was passing or not. We have this thing where you can look at your lab results. Um, from your home computer after the provider has looked at them already so I looked at the lab results and there was no reference range but it just said 101 so I just googled it and it said for the one hour test it should be less than 200 after an hour so I'm assuming I passed um, so I guess we'll talk about that on my next appointment which is the 29th I'll be 30 weeks um, so I'm happy she didn't call me and freak out and say come back for the test so I'm assuming I did good which I'm very happy for so at my midwife's appointment we talked I had a lot of questions and I wrote them all down but I don't have the list but pretty much I wanted to know about labor um, my hospital's policies about labor that kind of stuff um, so we talked about how um, if I had to have the IV and she said no not unless you come back, your blood comes back that your RH factor is positive, which it was negative. We did that again this time. So I think they test that again later to see if, um, I don't know, I turn positive because she said that can happen sometimes, I think. Um, and if it does, then I do need antibiotics. Um, a couple of antibiotic doses, I think, during labor or something. So she said we could give those and then... Um, we could just have like a saline lock. So, um, I wouldn't even have to have an IV though if I was negative still. So, I'm very relieved to hear that. I don't want the IV hindering me if I want to be up and walking around. Um, every birthing suite in my hospital has a tub. So, I can labor in the tub. I can't deliver in the tub, but I can definitely labor in the tub. Um, I don't have to labor on my back. I can stand squat, be on all fours, so that was awesome to hear that they were supportive of that. Um, we asked her about eating and drinking during labor, and she said what she doesn't see is fine, um, so, um, she said nothing chunky though, in case you aspirate if you need, um, you know, anesthesia or whatever. Um, I got my, another dose of Rogan. So, if you remember, about 10 weeks, I had some mild spotting, I had to go to the ER, and I got a dose of Rogan then, and then my 28-week appointment, I got it again. So, it was fine. The first time they did it in my um, hip, this time they did it in my deltoid. So, I felt it a little bit more up here, but it wasn't bad at all. It was totally fine. Um, what else? I talked to her about some of the symptoms I've been having. I've noticed um, my heart going really fast sometimes, and I've, I work in a doctor's office anyway, so I will take my blood pressure and my pulse, and it would be like 101, 106, and she said that's fine because you have your 
blood volume increases by 50%, your heart has to work that much more harder anyway. So even when I'm like sitting, I can still feel my heart sometimes just going, 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 but eventually it's, I can, or it like goes away. So that was fine. Um, talked about, I've been walking more and I'm still getting kind of random cramps when I walk. And she said, that's totally normal and that's fine. Um... I only went up two pounds, so that's good because the appointment before I had actually went up eight pounds, so that's good. I'm really trying to be really steady on my weight gain. I've been weighing myself every day, so I have a marker of where I am, so I'm not like there's not some big surprise. Um, she did my fundal height, which is the first time she did that. Actually, it was a different midwife. I have four midwives I have to visit with before um, I deliver because you never know who's going to be on call. So, um, this was, this was a new midwife to me and she was super nice, um, and she answered all my questions and, um, yeah, she did my fundal height and my uterus is now way up above my, um, belly button, which I almost didn't expect. I know it's supposed to be, but I can't really feel it because of my chub, so, um, she measured and she said that was good. She did the heartbeat. She didn't tell us what it was, which is fine, and that was good. Um, so that was it for the midwife appointment. Now I, now I start to go every two weeks. Oh, the last thing I asked her about is if I'm going to have any more ultrasounds. And she was like, well, not really unless it's medically necessary. So then we started talking about, um, how I was nine pounds at birth and something. And my husband was 10 pounds at birth and something. So she was like, oh, well maybe we should measure the baby's growth. So she ordered, um... An ultrasound to see how baby is growing I guess because we might be blessed with a very large little girl so we'll see how that goes I'll have that the morning of my appointment on the 29th so hopefully that's my last ultrasound because um, that sounds terrible but they're so expensive um, so I think that's it for the appointment um, a couple days before that or, yeah, a couple days before that, we actually went and got a 3D ultrasound. I think it was 27 weeks and 4 days. So, and I got some pictures. And I'll show a couple pictures, but I did, I'm did. i going to do a whole another video um, with pictures, like a slideshow. Um, she's so cute. And she has her dad's nose. You can totally tell it's her dad's nose. So, if you can't tell what this is, this is her arm. This is her hand. That's her eye, that's her nose, that's her mouth, her chin, her cheek, her head. So, it's amazing how clear that was um, during the ultrasound. And they got we got a bunch of face pictures. She was sucking and um, like sucking in amni amniotic fluid and pursing her lips a lot. It was really cute. Um, so we got a couple pictures of her doing that. This is her leg. And then I got a. Um, a girl shot because I really wanted that and yeah so I'll put um, a slideshow up in a couple days the place we went to um, I mean I can tell you guys but it, probably nobody's local to me it's called future imaging the website is look at your and it was pretty expensive it was about $190 um, we had a 25 minute session we got the pictures, we got um, a DVD of like um, movements, like her heart beating and like her kicking her legs and doing the sucking and moving her head and stuff, so that was cool. And then this has all the pictures that they took. And then we got a huge strip of pictures, I don't know where they are right now, but just like regular ultrasound pictures, black and whites. So um, that was totally worth it, but I'm done with ultrasounds for now. Now I'm getting nesty and ready for baby. Um, sleeping is okay. Um, sometimes I find that I get numb on one side and I need to turn, but I probably have to pee anyway, so I have to get up. Um, bending is getting really hard. My husband does a lot of the bending for me. We're, like I said, we're moving, so I really just sit and sort and pack. I don't do lifting or anything like that. He's really good about um, being supportive about that. Um, I'm getting really nasty. I can't wait to get into our new place to start the nursery. Um, 
and I'm also getting really excited for my um, baby shower which is next month around Memorial Day so um, yeah I'm really happy about that um, I've been having some not really drama but like pushback from my family about cloth diapering and it's kind of um, it's kind of saddens me that they are so resistant to it not my parents but like other family members um, about like thinking it's disgusting or something and like um, it's smelly and you're gonna touch a lot of poop or something when I don't think people realize what the hell did you do before disposable diapers that's all people did was cloth diaper and I think that kind of with cloth diapering and breastfeeding especially the more we have alternatives to those things the more abnormal the normal things become so I mean a lot of people think when you're really into breastfeeding oh that's kind of weird are you gonna supplement what if the baby is this what if the baby's that I mean it's just kind of like pet PV things so um, my baby shower I really wanted to be a really positive happy thing for me and I didn't want any disposable diapers I didn't want any bottles or anything like that would make me feel uncomfortable and like feel like I would have to return and make me feel bad so I designed the baby um, shower invite myself and I pretty much just said in a positive way please help us welcome our green breastfed um, cloth diapered baby by visiting our registry on amazon.com so it wasn't like no disposable diapers no bottles nothing like that so um, hopefully um, people take that into account and that's not a problem I have some holly type things but I might wait until next week because I feel like I have a lot of stuff to talk about so and I'm waiting for freaking Zulily. I've ordered, I placed three orders since um, March 28th, and I've gotten one thing, and I've ordered like probably eight things in total, and they're shipping everything in separate shipments, and that kind of, you know, that's not efficient and whatever, but I know that they're like a third party kind of like, um, Holt Look, so... Um, you know, they sell something, but then it goes from the, um, sellers, like the people who make the, whatever brand they're selling, it comes from their warehouse and then it comes, it gets shipped to us. So, but it's like ridiculous. The 28th and I haven't gotten it yet. So hopefully that stuff comes soon so I can show you. It's just like clothes and a diaper and diaper cover, that kind of stuff. So I will do a quick belly shot okay so this is 28 weeks and three days baby I feel like I'm actually getting pregnant looking I'm still wearing my scrubs which still um it's hard to tell on my scrubs so I've ordered some scrubs with a tie back kind of like this has um, elastic to cinch in here the scrubs have a tie back so it actually accentuates baby and not I'm very chubby so that's the belly from the front oh I picked up a couple new things I picked up two books um, Ina Mae Gaskin's guide to childbirth which is awesome if you are looking to do natural childbirth it is pretty on the hippie side so you can skip the whole part about all the stories and go to the um, her, just her information about childbirth um, it's an excellent read I think it feels really empowering to read stories about women um, <laughs> um, doing childbirth naturally without medication or anything so um, that's inspiring and then I picked up the birth partner I think it's by Penny Simpkin or something like that for me and my husband um, um, techniques for him like massaging and being encouraging and stuff and what the doula is going to do so and then one more thing I picked up was a DVD set from Amazon called I think it's called perfectly prepared childbirth series and it comes with like a DVD it's like if you can't go to the hospital and take a childbirth class but it's I've read it's more informative informative than childbirth classing anyway so I wanted to get as much information as I could it has like a relaxing technique CD which I'm excited to um, really incorporate into my um, daily life to get ready for birth uh, yoga postnatal maybe um, 
yoga, something like that. So maybe um, in the next video I'll I'll get that and I'll go into more detail. But I just wanted to mention that. And this video is very long, so I apologize. So I will talk to you guys um, hopefully soon. Bye.